Bridge dive suit permission to proceed with dive. Good morning everybody on shore. Annette on the internet joining us today. This is the NOAA ship Okeanos Explorer coming to you live from the western North Atlantic. We are diving on Retriever Seamount, uh, one of the New England Seamounts. And it is about 400 miles southeast of New York City. This uh, seamount is approximately uh, 2,000 meters in total height. Now, this is a pretty different feature. We've been in canyons so far that are uh, cut into the continental shelf, and now we are offshore on basically an extinct volcano. The seamount has not been dated. That is, uh, we do not know the precise age of this seamount specifically, but Bear Seamount, which is just off to the west, um, has been dated at about 99 to 103 million years. So we're interested here in seeing whether this is a thicker pile of sediment or just uh, sort of a thin veneer that's covering uh, the slopes here. We can bring the ship to a stop and uh, do the sediment probe if you'd like. Five centimeters, yeah. but I believe it not hit bottom yet. Well, I think that's good. That's good, yeah. Yep. I think that I think was we're pretty pleased back here. We have a good sense that this is not a five centimeter veneer. Well, I call that a successful third I test. I agree. Sea poke. But again, I think it's just really striking the difference between this soft sediment environment and suddenly these sort of oases of hard rock where we're suddenly seeing a lot of organisms attaching. So there's nothing actually on the sea pen. Those were just uh, around it. You can see a little mycid though, a little mycid shrimp. Let's call it a possum shrimp, swimming at just at the end of the sea pen, dancing off near the, t the tentacles of the sea pen. That's a really nice image. It's beautiful. These would be lava flows, um, but the blackness that we're seeing is not necessarily the rock underneath. And so we would expect um, the type of rock that forms a lava flow to be dark. What we're seeing here again is this manganese crust. Um, so it's this sort of manganese oxide that uh, crystallizes out of uh, seawater and covers pretty much any hard surface. Um, it sort of um, forms fairly slowly uh, away from any sort of hydrothermal vent area. So that is where hot fluid's coming out and um, adding extra manganese. Um, it actually forms at a rate of about one millimeter per million years. Well, that was a really beautiful feature. Uh, lots of diversity, more diversity than we uh, describe, certainly. It's kind of interesting, you know, one of the questions we don't really know the answer to, but it's something that we would like to understand better is, you know, why are there only two corals here where we were earlier? There was very high density and extremely high diversity of corals. And it has something to do with the ability of the larvae to settle, uh, the rate of sedimentation, how quickly they're buried, the uh, rate of delivery of food, um, all these different factors go into whether you're going to see a lot of corals or very few corals, or other organisms for that matter, the sponges and the hydrozoans and all these things that are growing attached to the rock. And once you get this various stuff growing, you can think of them as creating kind of an underwater forest and that may attract a variety of other organisms. Now this looks like uh, some sort of eel. It's got something in his mouth. Yeah, he's holding something. Well, it's a crustacean of some kind that it's got in its mouth. The 
one of the things that we certainly don't have enough of, and essentially Chris Ma was saying the same thing in his phone call, is we don't have these sort of uh, observations of live material in the deep sea. There's a lot of value, of course, in seeing them alive, seeing what their behaviors are, seeing what the uh, what might be feeding on what, seeing what sort of habitat they're living on. If you are just sort of dragging it up from the bottom, you don't get a sense of, is that living in the sand? Is it living on a rock? Does it live off the side of a rock or the top of a rock, etc.? cetera? Um, there's a lot of information that we can learn from these sorts of uh, exploration transects that we do with the, uh, with the ROV.